Hi, I'm Amy Willis with Adam Smith Works. Hello, I'm Michelle Vacris, Professor of uh, Management, Business and Economics at Virginia Wesleyan University here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And it is an honor to be on the program today. Thanks very much for joining us, Michelle. We're delighted to have you. If you're ready, we're gonna launch right into the Smith questionnaire. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's go. Michelle, would you rather be loved or be lovely? Oh, lovely, of course. Uh, that's the way I was raised, to not worry so much about what other people think of me, but to make sure that I know I've done the right thing. Thanks. Wealth of Nations or Theory of Moral Sentiments? Theory of Moral Sentiments. Care to elaborate? Uh, to me, it's, it's helped make me a better person. That's interesting. My colleague Sarah noted in another Smith questionnaire recently that economists, such as yourself, seem to be somewhat more likely to pick TMS, whereas philosophers tend to pick Wealth of Nations. Interesting, no? Yeah, I guess, you know, it's, it's what you don't know that is the most appealing to you. Ah. So, something new. Speaking of things we don't know, Michelle, if Adam Smith had a dog, what kind of dog do you think he would have? Oh, man, I watch the uh, Westminster show every year. What kind of dog comes from Scotland? Um, I guess a Scotty. Right? That, I don't know. I'm a cat person. So. A Scotty. I, and that's my husband's name, too. So it works ah, out. Perfect. All right. Michelle, what do you think the best antidote to the torpor induced by the division of labor is? Oh, boy. Now, as an academic, you wouldn't think that we would have the torpor of the division of labor too much. But I do remember one semester having to teach four sections of intro to macro on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So that kind of felt like that. <laughs> Let's see, what would be the antidote? Um, well, I guess in Smith's day, he said education. But, you know, we have universal education now, so I don't think that's the ticket. Um, how about participation in civil society? Ooh, interesting, By, uh, okay. Joining a club or volunteering or working at your church or just, you know, the Civic League, whatever. Just something where you can interact with other people from perhaps different walks of life. And more importantly, you can exercise different parts of your brain than teaching intro to macro four times on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. <laughs> You're not at all scarred by that, I can tell. Yes, it was not a good semester. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, a somewhat related question, Michelle, what do you pursue for pleasure that was once followed from necessity? Well, what I do for pleasure is practice yoga. And yeah, I did start practicing yoga for health reasons. And now I do it just for the joy of it. Great. Serious question. Okay. If every single serial mascot were to fight, which one would Adam Smith pick and why? What do you mean by a serial mascot? Tony the Tiger. Oh, oh, cereal. I'm thinking like serial killer. Oh, <laughs> no, like, like breakfast. <laughs> All right, so which one would the he want to- That would be a very different question. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so which one would he want to fight? Hmm. Well, which one would, or which one would he pick in a fight? Either way. Oh, oh to, to fight on his side. Yeah. Okay, maybe the Lucky Charms guy. You know, the Scotsman and the Irishman maybe getting together. Ooh, I like it. All right. <laughs> Um, Michelle, what does your impartial spectator look like? Uh, my face in the mirror. I want to, you know, when I think of, I want to be able to look at myself in the mirror and like what I see. Great. Smith says that one of the times we experience sympathy with others is when we share an appreciation for the same piece of literature or work of art. So, Michelle, what should people read or listen to or watch to feel sympathy with you? Ooh. Well, I guess in terms of literature, it would be Jane Austen. Uh, I, I love Jane Austen. I just renewed my Jane Austen Society membership today. And uh, you can learn a lot about Adam Smith by reading Jane Austen as Cecil Bohannon and I uh, explore. Um, so that would be for literature. But in terms of watching something, well, misery loves company. So I would say I, 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 I get a mutual sympathy by commiserating with other New York Mets fans. I'm gonna leave that one alone. <laughs> we'll we'll let the audience respond to that. All right. So sad. Two more questions. Okay. 
We know that Smith, like you and I, enjoyed a beer, um, if only because we can take his famous quote about the butcher, the brewer, and the baker. What do you think Smith would think about the craft beer movement today, and what kind of beer do you think he would most like? Yeah, I think he would love the craft beer movement because, you know, it's more about specialization and division of labor and, and all of that and, and markets responding to consumers' demands. Wow, as to which beer he would choose, I, I, I'll drink an occasional like Modelo on the beach, but I'm not a craft beer person. Um, I guess I'll go with uh, some sort of, what are those dark ones, the, like a porter or something like that, a stout or something. All right. Very good. Last question. Okay. <laughs> if an afterlife exists and you get to meet and you get to meet Smith there, what would you like to talk to him about? Well, first I would thank him. As I said before, reading his work and studying his work has benefited me not just professionally but also personally. Um, studying his moral philosophy has helped make me a better person, especially with regard to his writings on self-command you know, as the root of all virtue. And I think that's something I would actually like to talk to him about is self-command. Why did it go out of style and what can we do to bring it back in style? You know, you look around today and with the cancel culture and the social um, unrest, um, the idea that it's a good idea to temper one's passions to achieve mutual sympathy, I, I don't see that in today's world. And so I would want to talk to him about what we could do to bring back the root of all virtue. Awesome. Michelle, thanks so much for chatting with us today. Oh, that's all there is? That's it. All right. Thank you. Thanks so much, Amy. You are most welcome.